Recent fires around the globe have shown that the rapid spread of fire and toxic gases within a building are among the main causes for big losses of assets and people. These cases raise the question how we can better avoid the propagation of fire. Key is to contain it at the place of its origin. This allows people to escape safely. In partnership with UL, we have studied how a fire behaves under real conditions. As a result, we found that the use of unsuitable materials and construction elements, for example facade panels, are not the only reason for a dramatic development of fire in a building. It is also essential to avoid the spread of fire at every opening in fire-rated walls and floors. And also on perimeter seals in both curtain wall facades and linear joints. I talk to architects or consultants, they feel that a rated wall or a rated fire door uh, provides a passive fire from the system, which is not true. What happens in real time is, there are no fire stops, there are unrated fire stops, there are cavities and fills. These small, small things play an important role in fire spread. And we should understand that we need to have a passive fire protection as a system, wherein we have the fire stops, the cavity fills, the sealants, along with the doors and the rated walls to create a fireproof system. From Hilti, we have installed for three main applications which we see in any commercial building. One is electrical, second is pipe, and third is edge of the slab fire stop systems and we are seeing how long it restricts the fire in that compartment itself. In a facade fire, how fire grows is by three effects. You know, One is leaf drop effect, second is chimney effect, and third is poke through effect. This test will be to see how good fire stop system is to restrict the chimney effect fire. We started the fire near the facade uh, so that uh, and we had distributed the uh, fire load throughout the barriers. The spandrel area was made by masonry and concrete so that uh, we wanted to force the fire to go from inside if at all it goes to an above story. So once the fire started uh, initially it smoldered inside the room and once the flashover took place uh, the fire uh, was practically everywhere in the room and uh, the glass panes which were uh, making the windows, all of the, those failed for the ground floor and the aluminum frame that was holding the glass frames also melted away. Recorded data shows the temperatures were very easily 850 to 900 degrees Celsius. Throughout all of this time uh, there was no fire spread in any of the top floors uh, which indicates that it was stopped by the barrier that was installed. The selection of the right fire stopping system for a particular application and its correct insulation are crucial to ensure the proper functioning in case of fire. This also includes consideration of additional factors such as seismic movement, acoustics or air tightness. Therefore, to significantly increase the fire safety, two things are important. For one, the use of products tested according to their practical field of application or to maximize safety, pre-engineered devices and systems. And second, to include all of this as early as the design phase. This also highlights the urgency to evolve the building codes, where there is very limited direction on such fire stop system applications. Let's use tested fire stop systems to save lives, protect assets, and enhance building performance.